hey guys it's fatty batty now welcome to my channel and this is today's look if you like what you're seeing continue watching and let's get right into it let's get to it so we're starting off with our brows and i'm taking the nars concealer and i'm just taking a regular q-tip and basically going underneath my brow bone to give it more of a precise and defined look and basically just blending everything out seriously. I'm taking the Real Technique Beauty Blender and blending out the concealer on my eyelids. We're going to set that concealer with the Laura Mercier A and I'm going in with a Morphe brush and just placing that over my eyelids and my eyelids. So I'm taking some black duct tape and I'm going over my hand a couple of times just so that way it doesn't hurt my under eye and I'm just placing that so that way, um, you know, my eyeshadows don't come out too messy. So today's palette is the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe Volume 2 and I'm taking the shade Positive T all through my transition and in my inner so I'm going in the shade Lowly Mama out of the palette and I'm going on my outer crease just to give it a little bit more brightness and give it that pink look that I was going for. So as I continued, I figured that I would go in with a different shade, a little bit darker. So I went in with the shade Stay True and I put that all in my inner crease on outer lid just to give it a little bit more definition. Now I'm taking the shade Crazy just to darken it up, darken up my crease a little bit and notice how I'm, you know, um, brushing forward instead of not backwards. Uh, and also be aware that I am still taking the transition brush that I used to place down my transition shade and I'm just going in every time just to make sure that it doesn't get swatched in with all my other colorful colors. So I'm going in with the Anastasia Eye Primer and I'm basically going to cut my crease with a spoolie and I'm basically placing that all in the inner crease and just blending that out seamlessly. And notice how I have hooded eyelids so I don't really go above my crease. Ardell lashes at any local beauty store. I'll be taking just some regular huggies and cookie wipes and just removing all the excess powder. You want to make sure you hydrate your face, so I'm using a primer from IO Makiage. I don't know how to pronounce it. And I'm just taking that all over my face, underneath my chin, and um, over my forehead. And then I'll be going in with the Neutrogena Serum SPF 30 just to give my skin some radiance and some moisturizer. So now I'm taking the NARS foundation and a foundation brush from Real Tech's Me collection. And I'm just placing that um, shade all over my face. And the shade is called Caledonia D2. And it's pretty much for people that have yellow undertones, such as myself. And I'm just basically placing that on my forehead, on my nose, um, underneath my lips, down underneath my jawline, down my neck, and my collarbone. I love this foundation because it's very pigmented 
and radiant and it just gives my skin that natural kind of look also it covers up my keloid scars that i have from my car accident and i feel like that's that's a really big deal because i really can't find too many foundations that'll like semi cover it up or at least like you know blend it with the rest of my face <laughs> Yes, so we are taking the head wrap off. We do not want two shades on our forehead and people looking at us like, which one is our skin? So <laughs> we're going to blend that out. And now I'm going to take that foundation as well and place that underneath my lips to give my lips an enhancement and just make them appear bigger. As you notice, I have a little bit of redness underneath my nose. So I will be placing that foundation there as well. Stay tuned. And another thing, if you guys, you know, women have mustaches too, and if you guys have a little bit of a peach fuzz up there, do not try to conceal it because your hairs really would stand out. So I would pretty much take some foundation, put it on like near your cupid's bow or, you know, underneath your nose, you know, just so that way it doesn't look too unrealistic, if that makes sense. Now I'm taking the Real Technique Beauty Blender and I'm blending out my concealer and notice how I'm looking up so that way my concealer doesn't get creased underneath my eyelids. And as soon as I get done blending that out, I take a dry buffing brush or whatever brush you have and I just set it with more mercy or whatever translucent powder you have to set your concealer. You want to set it right away so that way it doesn't dry it up, it doesn't look old or crusty, you know what I mean, and it just stays fresh and doesn't crease. marks on the beauty blender even if it's damp it just doesn't look right so just get a dry i don't care what kind of brush it is just get a dry brush and just basically set that all over don't really don't use a beauty blender because i feel like that makes like wet marks underneath your eyes I think so. yes i do semi bake because i am a dancer and i need my makeup to last all night
off. So you want to make sure everything looks right, even though the lights are going to be off if you're a dancer. So now I'm taking a black eyeliner pencil and just going in my underneath my eyes. And now I'm taking that pink shade I used earlier to set on my inner lids. Um, and I'm just basically placing that underneath the crease of my eyelids um, just to give it a little bit more enhancement and make everything snatched. So we're going to warm this mascara up from Revlon and we're going to go in pointy shapes, not we're going to go vertical, not horizontal. And we're just going to do swiping motions. And I'm going to take that positive T out of the palette and I'm just basically using that as my blush. And we're going to go in with the Mario Badescu and the Real Technique and just blend everything out as we set. Now I'm just pretty much getting my hair ready and we're gonna start highlighting in just common areas we don't want to do too much over my cupid's bow down below my nose underneath my eyebrow bone and um you know on my highlighted areas on my high cheekbones so now we're gonna set one more time we're gonna take that anastasia beverly hills lip palette and i'm gonna go in with that purplish pink shade and that is it i hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching